Thank you for tuning in to another how-to video by Taylor. And in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how I paint trim, door trim. Uh, right here, what I'm doing is using a hacksaw to cut a standard length uh, paint cover uh, for a paint roller. And if you just happen to have a, a, one of those the standard size, you can cut it into uh, smaller pieces and save yourself some money uh, doing that. Uh, you can get two or three small rolls in this way, uh, just like that, out of one. Uh, just a way to save yourself a couple bucks. Once you have the piece cut like that, just brush off the excess, any uh, loose fibers, and snap it into your mini roller, and you'll be ready to go to paint uh, door trim or window trim, just like that. So uh, next, we're going to go ahead over uh, and I'll show you uh, how I quickly paint uh, the edging of door trim without using, uh, without taping it, using the expense and the time to tape around the edges. What I do is just get a plaster uh, knife plaster spatula like you see here a wide one about you know I think this one is 10 or 12 inches wide and then I just set it right there in the corner between the trim where the trim meets the wall a little bit more towards the trim not up against the wall totally in case anything um, drips through which if you're careful and you don't have a lot of paint too much paint on your brush nothing should uh, bleed through. Then uh, once I've got that edge done, I just go back with that roller that I just made and uh, roll. Uh, now I go uh, back and forth with it, uh, maybe more, more times uh, than you would think is necessary, but what I find is as you're rolling that paint on trim, or any time you're using any kind of a roller on a wall, ceiling, uh, the more times, of course, you go over it, the smoother and the more even your coating is. So I just see uh, how it's going, and it can depend on different things, um, the viscosity of the paint, uh, the temperature in the room, the humidity, different things can affect it. Um, but I just see how the paint is is going on and usually I will uh, roll it, just keep rolling it several times until it's a nice uh, even coat. And so uh, now I'm starting here on the upper and you can, as you can see, it goes pretty quickly like this. Now there's different kinds of uh, rollers, uh, covers for the rollers you can get. Uh, this one is, I believe, 3 8 inch nap, the length of the fibers. You can get ones that are um, not as long and they're for a more smooth surface and that'll give you a smoother uh, finish. But you'd be surprised uh, how, even if there's a bit of a texture when you use a 3 8 inch nap like this, um, as the paint is drying, it really does um, flatten out uh, pretty well and gives you a minimal, a minimal uh, texture, almost, almost none at all. It's really not visible unless you get down and look at it real close. So what I'm doing here, you go back with the brush and any corners and edging. Now there's a metal, uh, a metal uh, gasket, I guess you would call it at the top of this door, a weather strip. Uh, that's up there, so uh, I don't want the door really sticking with paint uh, on that. And so I just bring the knife again, the plaster the spatula here, and put it right in that edge and first edge that piece with the brush. And then I'll go back over it uh, with the roller once that edge is done. And I, I use that technique uh, for all the trim. You can see the pattern you can see just first edging uh, the sides and uh, the corners with the paintbrush and then go back uh, with the roller giving it a nice even coat going in over each part several times until it appears that the paint is being evenly uh, spread over the surface. 
Now I'll go back with the brush here and get that bit of edging where it's inset in the door stop. And like I said, there are different kinds of uh, rollers. Uh, if you want a more of a, uh, the smoothest you can get, there's one that I've seen that's called uh, Ultra Smooth. Uh, and you can use that. The advantage of using a, a standard uh, 3 8 nap is that when you have your um, all the details and the contours of your um, door trim or window trim, when you have a 3 8 inch um, roll uh, cover, uh, it goes into conforms to all the different shapes of the pattern and design and contours of your particular molding. If you get an ultra smooth or even some of them are like you've seen those little foam mini rollers, um, those will give you a nice smooth surface but a little more difficult uh, to get in all of the uh, shape and the conformity of your wood trim using that 3 8 inch snap uh, gets in there really well but like I said leaves you with just a slight um, uh, bit of a, a texture on the surface um, so those are some options for you I'm doing this side you see I edged with the uh, paintbrush and then went back over the roller again I'm just about finished here uh, with this door so I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in to another one of my videos. I appreciate uh, your likes if you got something out of this demonstration. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all your subscriptions. Uh, send some feedback, comments. I'll uh, be glad to answer any questions that you have. I do these home remodeling videos on my channel, How To by Taylor. So subscribe and uh, click on there and you'll see more free uh, demonstration videos of how to home remodeling and maintenance projects around the house.